Welcome to the Philpsy Force Scarlet Monastery Graveyard Dungeon Guide. I'm Philpsy, and let's get started. Alright, so location. Where is the Scarlet Monastery located? It's located in the northern part of the undead starting zone. So there we go. So I circled it for you. You're welcome. Alright, so the quest for the graveyard. There's only two, and they're only for the horde. So sorry, Lions. Um, the first one is inside the graveyard itself, the dungeon. Uh, it's Voril's Revenge, right next to one of the bosses. And then the other one is a chain quest um, from Razorfin Crawl, if you completed that one. Going, going, Guano, which leads to Hearts of Zeal. And any one of the Scarlet guys will drop their hearts for this quest. Next! The quest gear reward. So if you actually uh, go through with killing Vicious's wife, uh, these are the, um, the, the pieces of gear that you can choose from. So it's cloth shoulders, a cape, or leather boots. Next! So the specific dungeon bind on equips. So the Scarlet set drops in the Scarlet Monastery, but only the boots out of all the pieces could drop in the graveyard. These are very, very low drop rates, but the boots can literally drop off of any trash mob in any of the Scarlet dungeon, or Scarlet uh, Cathedral, Scarlet Monastery <laughs> places. So, in the graveyard, only the boots would drop from anything. Alright, next. The mobs. The mobs range from level 30 to 34 elite. And I'm not counting the level 8 undead guy or the level 25 undead guy that's getting tortured to death. Um, so, the elites that you're going to be killing are 30 to 34. They are humanoids and undead. There are three rare spawns. That's count them. One, two, three rare spawns for a total of five bosses or five name tunes for you to kill and loot. Let's introduce some of the bosses. Here they are, boys and girls. All right, in the order of appearance uh, and the order in which you will probably kill them, the first one is Interrogator Vicious right here. And then if you're the Horde, you'll pick up the quest. Um, and then the three rares, depending on how they spawn or if they spawn, are Iron Spine, the Fallen Champion, and Azir the Sleepless. And then you'll work your way into the tomb where Blood Mage Thalnos is at the very end. So let's see what these guys have in store for us. Alright, so the first one, level 32, Interrogator Vicious. He is linked with a level 30 Scarlet Torturer, um, so I'll just say CC or kill the Torturer first. The Torturer can cast a move called Immolate, which is just like a fire damage over time. Uh, Interrogator Vicious himself can cast Shadow Word Pain, so you priest would know about that. It's just a dot. Um, and then I'm also, I also put in here, he has the best dialogue in game. So I'm not going to ruin it for you, but when you play the game, uh, me and my friends still laugh and repeat what he says to you while you're killing him. Uh, he has the chance to drop the Torturing Poker, but it's very low. Uh, most likely you will see his bloody brass knuckles. Next we have level 33 Iron Spine. He is a rare spawn, and he is linked with uh, three normal level 31 ghosts. Uh, so you could either CC or kill them first. Uh, remember, these are all undead, so your priests and pallies uh, can do a lot more moves if, you, if you're if alliance and you have a paladin. Um, Iron Spine himself will cast Curse of Weakness, which will reduce your damage output, and he will also cast a Poison Cloud, which is like an AoE damage over time. But he, has, he drops a male chest, a one-handed mace, or a nice DPS ring. Next, level 33, Azir the Sleepless. He's also a rare spawn. Uh, he will cast Drain Life, so interrupt that if you can. Uh, that will hurt the person that he's 
doing it to, and it will actually restore some of his life. Um, and he also has a funny mechanic where he will actually try to run when he gets low health. So if there's any mobs around him, uh, make sure that you either killed them beforehand or you pull him into a safe area so when he does decide to run, he's got no, no one to pull for. Alright, he could drop a wand, some cloth legs, which are fantastic, and a neck. Alright, next. Level 33, Fallen Champion. He's uh, the last rare spawn. He's like a warrior type. He can cast Cleave. His Cleave is a little unique because it can hit five targets. Uh, he'll cast a Rend, uh, which does a lot of damage over time. And then he, he has like a Heroic Strike, but it's just called Strike. And it, it, it can hit pretty hard. But he drops a fantastic uh, two-handed sword, um, leather gloves, or a cloth helm. And then last but not least, level 34, Blood Mage Thalnos. He's at the very bottom of the crypt. He can cast Shadow Bolt. He'll cast Flame Shock, which, if you're a, a tank, won't really do anything to you unless you're like a paladin or unless he like tab targets somehow. And he, 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 Flame Shock can interrupt a spell that's being cast. Um, he'll also cast a Fire Nova, which is instant. He'll just like explode out from under his feet. Um, and then he can also cast Flame Spike, which he throws on the ground somewhere. Just move out of the way. It's an AoE dot on the ground. You'll see it. It's like flaming cracks on the line. It's like a red consecration. Uh, he drops Cloth Shoulders or an Offhand. So there you go. That is all the bosses. All right, so the difficult encounters, my little warning signs. Uh, right when you enter the room with the Scarlet Torturers, there is one patrol that's going around all the rooms. Um, so I would say watch out for the patrol um, and then watch out for the runners. In one of the rooms, there's already four Torturers. So if you happen to hit that little part while the patrol is walking through it, that's five elite mobs. So that could, that could cause some problems. And then if you're Alliance, the guy that's getting tortured could aggro to you. But he'll die in like one hit. Um, and then once you get outside, the haunting phantasms, which are the big black ghosts, will spawn more ghosts. Um, so if you're not prepared for that, yeah, he will keep summoning friends. Uh, and then once you get inside the tomb, I'm going to say be careful. Because if you are particularly any kind of low level, level um, you, you might body pull just too many undead and you'll get swarmed all right and the shortcuts there's not a really shortcut it's a very linear dungeon but i would say if you're just trying to run to the end stay on the path uh you can slash target any of the rares that spawn and you don't really have to go off the path and kill the undead mobs um, unless you really are going for chests or the rare spawns show up all right the map so this is the map once you enter the Scarlet Monastery from the outside. Uh, so you'll enter over here. You'll run up the stairs. Uh, the graveyard is the most northern uh, instance portal. Um, so that is the one you're going to go through. You're just going to run up through there. Once you enter the graveyard, this is what it looks like. You will enter right here. You'll come down. You'll kill some mobs. You'll come in here. Vicious is in this room right here. And then if you're Horde... That is the quest that you can start. And then my warning sign right here. This is where the four mobs are torturing a Forsaken. So if, if the patrol who's like wandering around a big circle uh, comes in here, you're going to have five elite mobs. You're going to run through here, come up through here. And then once you're in this area, Iron Spine is a rare spawn. He can spawn here. And then the little skulls are where the rare spawns can actually spawn as well. So even though I have them tagged in these locations, they could also spawn in these other locations as well. So Iron Spine will usually be right here. If he's not here, he'll be right here. Or he can also be in the grass, I think, up here. Uh, Azure the Sleepless is either in this tomb or in the grassy areas or in the like that graveyard itself. Uh, and the Fallen Champion is the same way. He's either in this tomb 
or he's in these little areas. Um, then you're going to work your way into the tomb. This is my, my next warning sign is. Try not to body pull too many undead. Uh, there are some pretty tight packs once you're going through these hallways. Um, and if you clear out the left side and then start going down the hallway towards the boss, you might actually aggro the right side. So it could cause some problems um, for body pulls. But then you'll hit the last boss, Blood Mage Thalnos, at the very end. And then that's it. You have defeated, or you have finished, completed, uh, Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. And that is the end. You'll just run back out, or hearth. Whichever one makes you happy. So now we're going to go on a tour. Uh, this dungeon has changed a lot since uh, Cataclysm. Um, so these are all like separate dungeons now. Um, so now we're going to go on a tour. If you already know what this dungeon looks like, you don't need to watch this unless you want to. Then you can stick around. But other than that, thanks for watching. And let's go to the tour okay so we are outside the dungeon at the meeting stone so now we're just gonna run in you're gonna turn you're gonna run up these stairs and the graveyard is right here so we'll just go ahead and enter that so we'll enter in, turn in, you'll kill all these mobs, all these mobs, and then Vicious is right here, Interrogator Vicious, and then here is the quest that you will do. So there's the patrol I was talking about, not the rat, the patrol. And then here are the four mobs that are always guarding this chest. So I know you guys are want to go for the chests. So you'll kill all these guys and you'll work your way out into the graveyard. So once you're out into the graveyard, looks fantastic. Uh, yep, and there's Iron Spine and his three ghosts. So he's right there. You'll kill him. You can run back out into the path and then in your little tomb areas. Okay, so one of the rare... Uh, Azir the Sleepless can spawn here or right here or up there. Um, but he's not there. Um, okay, we got the Fallen Champion right there. So he is in the tomb. Uh, other spawn points are over here. Up here. And then back here in this corner. So you, you should be able to slash target. Or he should be able to see these guys just from this path. All you have to do is clear this path. Then you're going to run up into the tomb. This is where I say be careful for your body pulls. Because as you can see, there's three elite mobs right here. Pick a path. And then you'll clear out these rooms. And you will probably body pull all these guys. You'll work your way down. And then there's Blood Mage Thalnos right there. You'll kill him. Then you are done with the Scarlet, Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. If you're a horde, go work on that quest that you picked up. It's nice and fun. And you'll end up turning it in and tearing the mill. All right, so thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. Like and subscribe as always, and I will see you in classic. Wow.